Hey guys, welcome back to the comic book lowdown. I'm Wellington, and uh, I'm gonna bring you guys a really short review of a trade that I just finished. Uh, now I got both trades for my what to read pile down, and I just got a bunch of issues to go. And um, this is just gonna be a short review because there's no huge substance to this book. It's just fun, and uh, that is Bartman, the best of the best. So this really collects uh, a couple of Bartman issues that um, are the best of the best, really. Um, I got this sent to me in a contest that I won from Werewolf in the Can, uh, which, you know, he sent me a bunch of other stuff as well. But I tackled this one first, and uh, I thought this was a fun read. It's There's nothing too big. It's The Simpsons, you know you get in this book what you get in the show so um I mean they did a pretty good job of you know keeping that consistent um you know if you've watched the show you already have all the characters voices in your head so you know you already have you know how you expect things to be said in your head and so it all falls in together very nicely it's got the Simpsons humor uh you know it's it's the Simpsons you know <laughs> there's there's nothing really more to say. It just seems like a couple of Simpsons episodes put into one that uh, they seem to, they almost flow together, but um, uh, I'm not sure the order that these go in because they're just random issues. Um, there's not really much to say. I mean, it's, it's enjoyable, it's a fun read. Um, you know, there's a lot of allusions to comic book characters that, you know, we all know. Like, uh, there's this Thor right here. And they kind of make fun of, uh... See? They kind of make uh, fun of a bunch of the superhero characters that we all know. Uh, what, in this one issue, or a couple issues maybe, that... Uh, there's a nuclear explosion, and everybody besides Bartman, Bart, gets uh, superpowers, and so Bartman's trying to uh, pretty much stop everybody from fighting each other, and then a bunch of people get powers, and like I showed you, uh, the Thor, and they kind of make fun of the way that Thor, um, uh, he, the way that he flies, that it's disobeying the laws of physics if he spins his hammer really fast in this case spins a giant key really fast and then like kind of throws it in the air but without letting it go that makes flight and so I thought that was funny you know there's just uh, the regular itchy scratchy stuff uh, when everybody's getting superpowers um, Krusty the Clown he turns into the jokester of course the Joker uh, I could at the end of this, there's this big uh, full pre full page that they show all the superheroes that they kind of created or ripped off or whatever that pop up in here. Let me see that. Um, yeah, there's not uh, uh, Homer's the some the in I forgot what. Instead of the Incredible Hulk, he's like the in something bulk because he's always eating. I can't remember the word that they used, um, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this is just a fun read. It's very light read. Uh, finish it very quickly. Um, if you're a Simpsons lover, then you'll definitely like this. I am a kind of a fan of The Simpsons. I watch it occasionally, and so I enjoyed this still. Um, I thought, uh, this page right here where they show a bunch, like a comic book rack and a bunch of comic books that, uh, Bart and Milhouse are looking at, and, um, they're looking at it in the way, and, like, the names of these are really funny, so they, of course, have the, the Z-Man, uh, they actually have the animated Z-Man, Z-Man, another bunch of Z-Men, and the unwieldy Z-Men, so... You know, that kind of relates to now since there's like 18 X-Men books out. Uh, they also have Mylar Man, uh, Z-School, Z-Team, Z-Babies, uh, 
legion of scantily clad superhero or heroines or heroines. Wow, can't even read now. Uh, Captain Squid, Hollow Foil Man, and just uh, they just got a bunch of things that you know making fun of things that we all know, and just you know they're they're, they're it's funny. They they poke fun out of a lot of things in here. And uh, it's The Simpsons, like I said. So, you know, there's nothing heavy about this. There's no great story, but it's fun. And it's a light read. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. You can show it to your kids if you wanted. Uh, there's nothing really bad about it. But anyways, that's a quick review for you guys on Bartman. The best of the best. Thanks again to Werewolf McCann for sending me this in his contest along with a bunch of other things uh, I'm gonna be I was thinking just now of, uh, I might make a series of videos called my what to read pile reviews and have them in parts as I read sections of my what to read pile since I have all my free comic book day stuff that I got plus things from contests that I got and just you know other things to read so I might make a series of those reviews and then if my what to read pile gets big again, continue that series. And so it's not going to be a consistent thing. It's just a way of reviewing my what to read pile all at once. Uh, but not everything because that's going to be a long video. So I need to put in parts. But anyways, that's it for me, guys. Uh, hope you guys have a happy Mother's Day. If you're mothers, happy Mother's Day. If you, you know, are celebrating with your mom. You know, make sure you tell them Happy Mother's Day and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm Wellington signing off with a comic book lowdown, and I'll see you guys next time.